Hey, it's Brigzar. Today we're going to look at another LEGO train set. This is one that's not too terribly old. It is set 3677, the red cargo train. Now, several of the cargo, or several of the trains had cargo in the name. There are at least four different cargo trains, and this one is red because it has an engine that is red. But I didn't give it that name. That's what it says on the box, red cargo train. 831 pieces. It is power functions and it has a red battery box, which is right there. We'll look at each car individually, but it will make this thing go, which means we get to turn this thing on. And I can never remember which way is forward. That's backwards, that's forward. So anyway, we'll take a look at the red cargo train. Yeah, all right, the red cargo train, it says it's for ages six to 12. I'll show you on the box there, set 3677. You do get a complete oval of track, which includes eight straight sections, your normal 16 curved sections, and you get these flex tracks there that you can do however you want. I just made an oval here. You get three train cars, which includes a truck as part of the cargo on one of the train cars. You get this little loading station. That's what the remote control, the infrared controller looks like. like. It comes with the battery box uh, with the uh, power functions, but you replace it with this red box here to match the red locomotive. You also get some extra wheels there. And in the instructions, it says th to throw those pins away, but people sell them on brick links. So I don't know why, why you throw them away, but that's, they're meant to be disposable. So we will start here at the locomotive. It is very cool. It's got the set number, 36. 77 on it. The engineer is in there. Has different little things on it. Here's like a engine area over here on the side with some controls there. Now the power functions sits up here and you can turn it on and off by pushing that button there. And then the cab area is here. And pull that off and see the engineer with his controls. There's the infrared receiver right there. So you can focus. So this comes off real easy and then you can put it back on there. It's got the handrails that you see. So the engineers can walk around and inspect the locomotive. I like the front of it too. That's neat. Typical train logo there. That sticker there. So that is the red locomotive. And we'll pull it up. Gotta turn it back on, don't I? Now here's the hopper car. And I had to move this when I was doing some filming, but I'll move it back over here. Alright. So basically this is like a little tipper wagon. You can tilt it either way. And then it's just a real simple build. That's all, you know, just one big piece here, that tipper. And then it turns like so. And then you can load it here with this loading station. Which has a little place there to, to load the little barrels, which are basically one by one round bricks. So I'll load them up. You just put them in here. This is where you unload them. You don't go very far. I really should have the loading station and the unloading station two different places on the track, but we got them side by side here. It's okay. I think if you had it set up in your city, you'd want them separate. So they load in there. They're ready to go. And then you got this little chute here where you can you turn it down like that and then conveyor belt system going on here. No, no, nothing's motorized, but then you can load the cargo. And you got to remember to tilt it back up, because if you leave it down, the train's going to hit it. <laughs> That's what I did the first time I ran it. I wasn't paying attention. But then we'll back it up over here. Oops, that's forward. Oops, uh-oh. We'll just go around. <laughs> Things hard to 
to come to a complete stop sometimes. He wants to speed up. There we go. And then you can just tilt it out and dump it there. And some of them go rolling around. You don't want to tilt it too far. I tilted it too far. Just got to tilt it a little bit. There we go. That's how that works. So that's the second car. And we'll come back over here and go to the next car. Which is a cool one. This is the work... Well, I hope you're enjoying this. Come back! <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to be on camera, did you? All right. This is the work car. It's a utility car. You got a little crane here. This working station. This is something maybe they'd be working on the side of the road, the railroad. It opens up. You can see the little cab area in the work. Cab coffee cup. This guy's been riding very dangerously on the truck. This is a road and rail truck. You got rails there on the um, car to hold it. Right there. You got the train wheels so you can just set it on there like that. But he's designed to go on the rails. Which is pretty neat. We'll pull over here where we can see it. I'll move the train out of the way. So basically, it can sit on the track like so. There we go. And then when you're on the road, you lift the train wheels up and it can ride on the road. So that is the utility truck. This lid does not want to go down all the way. You got two guys in there working. Another guy out here. We'll look at the mini figures in a minute. But that is that car. We got one more car to do. So we'll back this thing up. See if I can stop it this time. This thing does not like to stop. There we go. The last one is the box car, which is um, just that. Typical little box car. The cargo, it apparently is radioactive. <laughs> the radioactive cargo is glowing green. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but uh, that's all there is to that. It's a real simple box car. I'd like to combine like all the different box cars from the different sets uh, and put them all on like one train. That would be neat. So now let's look at the minifigures. Uh, four minifigures, and all of them are identical except for their head, as far as I can tell. Uh, they get the same torso and legs, and then same hat, but you get different heads. We get the grit and the teeth grin there, and then the beard there. And it has a train logo on the back. So other than that, they kind of look like Emmett. Con typical construction worker type look, except it's got the train logo on it. The other two figures, this one has, looks like glasses and eyebrows. He's got... He's scrunching his eyebrows up or something, this other guy over here, so. But basically they're the same except for their heads as the other That's two. basically what you get, and it did come with uh, several instruction manuals, so I know a lot of people do this uh, and they resell them. If you want to buy just one car, sometimes you go on eBay and find people selling them and they'll take like the instruction manual, like you just got that for the loading dock, there's for that car, that's for that car, and I actually like that. So if you want to add on cars to your train, you can just find people selling them like that, which is actually pretty cool. If you just want to buy part of the train and not the whole train, you can do that. And of course, when you get one that's discontinued like that, like this one is, then um, it's a little more expensive. But the uh, yellow cargo train, which we'll review later, you know, people still selling that on eBay by the car. And here's the infrared controller. Transmitter's right there. It's real finicky. Um, I guess it's going to make you go the other way. It's going to make you go backwards. You can reorient it um, which way you want it to go. But it, you just move it, just barely move it. 
when it starts going and you want to stop it you got to turn it back but sometimes when you turn it back it starts going the other way so it can be tricky to get it and then the more you turn it the faster it goes to get it line of sight there see if I can stop it oh I stopped it don't move it and then go the other way that's how that works and this one doesn't do anything because there's only one only one motor on there but you program it here program it to one that way this is actually the controller from another set this is the controller that actually came with the set i just didn't feel like taking the batteries out they're identical and you just program it if you got more than one train you just program the receiver to the number you want it so that's how that works so thanks for watching this review of set 3677, the red cargo train. I think it's a really nice train. It looks good. You get a good amount of track with it. Not much in accessories, just basically the train. Uh, but it is a nice looking locomotive and a good car. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. This is Big Car. Which one of you is driving the train?